See, the thing is about Forever 21, they only go up to a size large. And I'm your size two and a half X bitch. Okay, I claim all my halfness. So I gotta have my little snack. I went on up there to Forever 21, and there she was. She had this sundress on, and she was looking gorgeous. And I thought she was trying to size me up. So I went and got that same damn dress that she got, and I didn't give a damn, because I was here to represent all the fluff puffs in the house. I went into that dressing room, and yes, it was a fight going on, but I didn't give a damn, because I knew I was trying to make my grand entrance when the door had fell off the hinges. I was like, here's my moment. And I walked out of there like I was a one-ring model. I was like, bam, bam. Oh, but when I felt that draft, because the seams had busted in the back. And then I felt somebody tap me from behind. I was like, what, bitch, what? It was the zipper. It was tearing up all my side meat. I was like, if this would life would feel like, fuck it, I don't want it. And then that dress had beautiful buttons on it. It had three buttons. I was going to buy that dress just because of them buttons. Then the butt tap popped off, hit the little baby in the eye and the stroller. Mama was looking all cross out of me. I thought I was gonna get my ass whooped. And then that dress had a split. Now everybody knows how a split's supposed to go. It's very simple, just straight up and down, right? I'm gonna try to take one good look at my ass. I do need tips to get home. Shit, it came from Palmdale. But that split on my ass looked like a big ass shoe shape. Like horses galloping out and shit. So my friend saw the ordeal that I was going through. She said, you know what? I'm going to take you out, you know, to lunch. I'm like, good, bitch, because I'm hungry all over again after this workout. I said, where are we going to go? She said, I'm going to take you to the soup plantation. I said, where, bitch? She said, to the soup plantation. What the fuck am I going to do at the soup plantation? Look at me. I'm your mashed potato pork chop girl all day long, okay? And the whole thing about the plantation, that shit didn't work out for our people, okay? <laughs> Fuck that. I just wanna, I just wanna give, where are my single ladies at? Any single ladies in the house? Oh, okay. Y'all proud too. Bitch, help me out trying to get a date. <laughs> I don't know where that voice came from. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is about when you're single, and you with that person, you know, for that first time, we, you know, we're trying to aim to please, you know, because when you with that person for that first time and they get ready to have fun with your peachy pie, I don't know what your preference is. So what I do is, on one side, I shave. And on the other side, I leave it here. I don't know what you like. You might want something long and stringy to play with. Some soft and silky to look on. <laughs> Just trying to please you, that's all I'm playing. <laughs> but let me tell you something. When you get, you know, get ready to get pleased and everything, I had this mistake happen. They were kissing me and everything. They were got down into my peachy pie. They stopped and they looked like. <laughs> get up and run to the bathroom because I'm a nosy bitch. I got a mirror and I look down. It looked like I had a bad case of chemo. I had all these hair spots missing. I was like, what difference does it make? Just pick a spot and just lick on it, okay? My name is Kim Media. I thank you guys for coming out and supporting all of us.